Fellow citizens, you may also recall from the 2022 budget address that I made a commitment on behalf of the Republican President, Mitai Chilema, to tackle the challenges relating to the inadequacy of university bursaries for many of our bright young men and women across the nation. I'm here today to do something about that challenge. In that regard, and after comprehensive analysis and wider consultation, your government has decided to use the funds that have been recovered from corruption, this particular case, to provide additional invest bursaries in 2022. This will benefit an additional 2,232 university students across the nation who were left out on government bursaries in December 2021 due to budget constraints. No doubt my colleague, the Minister of Education, who is just seated next to me here, who elaborate on this matter and what change it entails. Ladies and gentlemen and fellow citizens, as I conclude, I would like once again to thank the joint investigative team for working tirelessly in an effort to recover suspected illegally obtained assets. And I wish to repeat that the government will provide all the needed resources for them to facilitate this noble cause and continue to recover more assets. In addition, I wish to inform the nation that all the recovered assets which will be given to the state, the new Dawn government will use those funds towards areas of great and common benefit to the Zambian people, ranging from education, health, youth, and women empowerment programs, among others. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. You are now invited, invited to hand over the checks to the Minister of General Education, please.